afternoon peeps welcome back to my channel this is miss lamas on fab over 40 and i am here with a well it would have been an unboxing and i did film it as an unboxing the papers are all down here and the cardboard but unfortunately i forgot to mute the telly guys so you can hear talking in the background and i didn't want to get a strike off youtube uh loose women is on at the moment anyway this arrived in the post today it's a small pouch it's by the brand Zoeva and it contains some makeup brushes, which I am going to share with you, my friends. It's a lovely green colour, which I really do like this colour. It comes with four brushes. The first one, dear God, sorry about this. Clumsy arse here. Put them all down. Fuck down. Right, is a cheek brush. It says cream cheek. And it's very soft and fluffy and it's angled slightly. So I'll give that a go, definitely. That will be an important part of my collection. No harm in having these. This one is, it, it's a fluffy brush. It's called the Lux Powder Fusion. Now, I've never, this is a brush I've never seen before. This is completely new to me. Unless this is for, if you're an oily skin person and you're just dusting down your T-zone. Or it could be, I'll probably use it for blending eyeshadow. I could even use it for concealer under the eyes. Now there's a good plan. Next thing, we have two more brushes that I'm gonna show you guys. This one is, it looks like it's a flat shader brush. It's described as the 234 Lux Smoky Shader. Well, that for me would be good for, you know, smudging out eyeshadow under the eye or for packing onto the lid. Looks nice, very impressed with it. Looks like a nice brush, can't wait to try it. And the last brush here, reminds me of a 217 from MAC. It is called the 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush. Now it's a, it, I can't wait to um, use this one. Really nice looking brush. And they're really soft and fluffy. I think they're synthetic bristles. I will look them up, I'm not reviewing them. I'm only literally, giving you my first impressions as I look at them. Now the bag, beautiful green bag, beautiful green handles on the brushes. They are absolutely beautiful. What does it say on them? Off, oh, hmm. Zoeva, offline. Hmm. So it says on the top, they are absolutely gorgeous. I really like the little, now it's not real leather guys, but it's, it's soft and it's very pretty and gold hardware. And it will get a lot of use in my, it, it will be my go-to when I'm wearing a big purse. And I just want a makeup bag with a few bits in it. It's a little bit too big for my guest one or my Dior one. Right, my friends, that's it. That's my first impressions of my little Zo Zoeva brush kit. So I will let you know over time what I think of those and if I think they're worth your money. And of course, I'll get more information on them as they only arrived today and I didn't have any information to hand. A few, a few um, samples came with them by Terry Hyaluronic Foundation, which is nice, but these four are too dark for me, so I won't be able to wear them. <laughs> it also came with something that I'm really excited about, um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Can't wait to try that. And it came with an Elemis cleansing balm, which I will use to take off this makeup tonight. I'll let you know if it's any good. And, but I really can't wait to try that magic cream. Everybody goes on about that. And it's shockingly expensive in Baron Thomas. Okay, my friends, that's it. That's my little show and tell of my Zoeva little brush kit. Thank you all for watching. Please um, hit the thumbs up if you like this content and it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you haven't already. You'd be very welcome, the more the merrier. That's what I say. So until the next time I speak to you folks, have a lovely day and take care. And, I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Hello.